Hey guys, today we are going to answer the question, how do I subtract positive and negative fractions and mixed numbers? So remember the integer rules still apply when we're subtracting fractions and mixed numbers. To subtract, you can add the opposite of the second number by keeping the sign of the first number, changing the subtraction to addition, and changing the sign of the second number. And then we can follow our addition rules. And then remember the steps to subtracting fractions and mixed numbers. We need to find those common denominators and write equivalent fractions. Then we will subtract the numerators and leave the denominator the same. Make sure you're using your integer rules. If there are mixed numbers, we can subtract the whole number parts and the fraction parts separately, or we can convert the mixed number to an improper fraction and subtract them. Remember when we're subtracting mixed numbers, we might need to borrow, and then we're gonna write the final answer in simplest form. So let's look at number one. I have negative two thirds minus three fourths. So the first thing I'm gonna do is make this adding the opposite instead. So I'm going to keep the sign of the first number, change the subtraction to addition, and change the sign of the second number. So keep, change, change. Okay, now I can see that I have two negatives. So I'm going to be adding here. And then when I add, I'm going to make my final answer negative since both of these numbers were negative. So I know I need to add, but I have an issue. I do not have common denominators. So let's go ahead and create those common denominators. I'm going to start listing out multiples of three. So three, six, nine, 12 is what three and four can go into. So I'm going to create those common denominators of 12. So I'm going to multiply this first fraction by four over four and this second fraction by three over three. And two times four is eight, and then four times three is 12, and then three times three is nine, four times three is 12. Okay, so now I can add these and then keep the sign. So eight plus nine is 17 over 12, and then I keep that negative sign. So we are done with the computation, but 17 over 12 is an improper fraction. I need to convert it to a mixed number. So I'm going to divide, 12 goes into 17 one time. I subtract and get five as the remainder. So negative 17 twelfths converts to negative one and five twelfths. Okay, let's look at number two. I have negative one half minus negative three fourths. So let's keep the sign of this, change the addition to, or subtraction to addition, and then change the sign of the second one. So keep, change, change. Now I can see that I'm adding a negative and a positive. So I'm gonna have to do subtraction here. And then the sign of the three fourths is positive and the absolute value of three fourths is bigger than one half. So my final answer will be positive. So now I'm gonna have to subtract these and my final answer will be positive. Before I can subtract them, I need to create those common denominators. I know I can easily get this two to be a four by multiplying by two. So I'm gonna multiply by two over two. So two times one is two and two times four is four, or two times two is four, and then plus three fourths. Okay, now I need to subtract these, so I'm gonna think of this as three minus two, which is one, and then I keep the common denominator, and then my answer was positive since that was the sign of the bigger absolute value. All right, let's look at number three. I have four ninths minus 11 twelfths. So let's keep change, change. So I have different signs, so I know that I'm going to have to subtract these numbers. And the absolute value of 11 twelfths is bigger than four ninths. So that means that my final answer will be negative after I subtract. Before I can subtract, I need to create common denominators. So let's list out multiples of nine. Nine, nine times two is 18. Nine times three is 27. Nine times four is 36, which 12 also goes into. So I'm gonna create those common denominators of 36. So it's nine times four that is 36. So I'm gonna multiply this by four over four. And then it's 12 times three, that's 36. 
Okay, now let's write these equivalent fractions. 4 times 4 is 16, 4 times 9 is 36, plus negative 3 times 3 is 33, and 3 times 12 is 36. Okay, so now I can subtract my numerators. So I'm going to think of this as 33 minus 16. 13 minus 6 is 7. 2 minus 1 is 1. Okay, so I get 17 over 36. And then I just make my answer negative since the 33 over 36 had a larger absolute value. All right, let's look at number four. I have mixed numbers, so that'll change our computation a little bit. Um, but let's first keep the sign of the first number, change the addition to subtraction, or subtraction to addition, and then change that negative sign to a positive sign. So keep, change, change. Now I can see that my signs are different, so I know I'm going to be subtracting. And, Five halves has a bigger absolute value than three and five ninths, and the five halves was negative. So that means my final answer will be negative. So I need to subtract these and then make my answer negative. Before I can subtract, I need to get common denominators between one half and five ninths. So I'm gonna start listing out some upper multiples of two. So like, I'm gonna start with eight, and then two times five is 10. 12, 14, 16, 18. Okay, 18 is a number that two and nine can go into. So I'm gonna get 18 to be my common denominator by multiplying one half by nine over nine and multiplying the five ninths by two over two. So negative five halves will become negative five and nine eighteenths and then that three and five ninths become three and 10 eighteenths. Okay, now I know I need to subtract these numbers and then make the answer negative. But I have an issue. I have it the bigger number and the smaller number, but I cannot subtract nine eighteenths minus 10 eighteenths right now. So I need to borrow from that five change it to a four and then add 18 over 18 here. So this becomes negative four and 27 eighteenths plus three and 10 eighteenths. Okay, now I can think about this as a subtraction problem. So four minus three is one and then 27 minus 10 is 17. And then I make the sign of my answer negative since the larger absolute value was negative. Okay, let's look at number five. I have negative four and one fifth minus two and two thirds. So I'm going to keep change, change. So this time I have the same signs. So I'm going to be adding and both of the signs are negative, so I will make my final answer negative. But I have an issue, I don't have common denominators, so I need to get a common denominator between one fifth and two thirds. So if I list out multiples of three, three, six, nine, 12, 15 is what three and five will both go into. So I'm gonna multiply the one fifth by three over three and multiply the two thirds by five over five. And then I get negative four and three fifteenths plus negative two and 10 fifteenths. Okay, now I just add these and then make my sign negative. So four plus two is six. And then three fifteenths plus 10 fifteenths is 13 fifteenths, and I just need to make my answer negative since both of them were negative to begin with. All right, last one, number six, nine and two sevenths minus 30 and 11 fourths. So I'm going to keep, change, change. So I have different signs, so I'm going to be subtracting here. And then the 
30 and 11 fourteenths has a bigger absolute value than nine and two sevenths. So that means my final answer will be negative. So I need to create common denominators. I know I can easily change this seven to a 14 by multiplying by two. So I'm gonna multiply both of these by two over two. And I get nine and four over 14 plus negative 30 and 11 fourteenths. Okay, I'm going to rearrange this so I have the bigger minus the smaller since I'm subtracting and then just remember that I make the sign negative. So I'm gonna think of this as 30 and 11 fourteenths minus nine and four fourteenths. So 30 minus nine is 21 and then 11 minus four is seven and then I just need to make it negative. And then there's one other thing I need to do. The 7 fourteenths can simplify to one half. So this final answer is negative 21 and a half.